Hello and welcome back to our class. Our topic for today is solving two steps equations. So we will use addition property of equality as well as the multiplication property of equality. So let's begin with this example. Solve and check 2x plus 3 is equal to 11. So here we will use two operations or two properties. So I have here 2x plus 3 is equal to 11. So the first thing is I'll use the APE or addition property of equality. So I'll undo the addition. So meaning to say I'll subtract both sides by 3. So I have here 2x is equal to 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. Then use the MPE or multiplication property of equality by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So x now is equal to Four. So, since the value of x is equal to 4, let's verify. Okay? Meaning to say, let's substitute 4 to the value of x. So, I have 2 times 4 plus 3. Is it equal to 11? So, we have here 8 plus 3. Is it equal to 11? So, 11 equals 11. So, since, okay, 4 will make the equation correct. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 4 is, okay, the two, true value of x. Okay, so let's have another example. So we have here 50 is equal to 2x plus 3x plus 5. So the very first thing that we will do is combine similar terms. Meaning to say, I'll add first 2x here, 2x and 3x. So uh, let's rewrite. So we have 50 is equal to the sum of 2x plus 3x plus 5. I'll add this together. So I have here 50 is equal to 5x plus 5. Then I'll do the okay addition here. So meaning to say I'll subtract both sides by 5. So I have now 45 is equal to 5x. Using the MPE or multiplication property of equality, I'll divide both sides by 5. So I have now 9 is equal to x. Or I can say x is equal to 9. Now let's verify if our answer is correct or not. So we have here 50 is equal to 2 times 9 plus 3 times 9 plus 5. Okay? So, it is still unknown whether the two sides of the equations are the same. So, we have here 18 plus 3 times 9 will give us 27 plus 5. Okay. So, 18 plus 27 is equal to 45 plus 5. Okay. So, this is equal to 50. So, I can say that 50 is equal to 50. So, therefore, the value of x which is equal to 9 is correct. So, let's move on to the next example. So, we have 14x minus 4x is equal to 19 plus 2x minus 3. So, what we're going to do is combine first the similar terms. So, let's rewrite. Okay, 14x minus 4x is equal to 19 plus 2x minus 3. So, I'll combine first the similar terms. So I have 14x minus 4x will give us 10x. And then here, I can combine here 19 minus 3 will give us 16 plus 2x. However, I can, okay, subtract both sides of the equation by 2x. So it will result now to 16 is the same as 8x. Using the multiplication property of equality, I'll divide both sides of the equation by 8. Okay, so x will give us now 2. Okay, so let's verify if the answer is correct or not. So let's check. So I have here 14 
times 2 minus 4 times 2 is it the same as okay 19 plus 2 times 2 minus 3 notice that i substituted okay x which is equal to 2 all right so i have here now 28 minus 8 is it the same as okay 19 plus 4 minus 3 so 28 minus 8 is equal to 20 is it the same as 23 minus 3 so we can say that 20 is equal to 20 okay so therefore x is equal to 2